point, sir. Thank you. Um. Çok teşekkür ederim, sağ olun. Um, so I, I shared the Nobel Prize with uh, two other colleagues and we were all given 30 minutes talk and the list was um, alphabetical. And uh, fortunately I was the third one and uh, so there was no way I could finish my talk in 30 minutes. And uh, so I just went on and on, and uh, the person in charge was showing a sign with zero time, and I didn't even see it. And, uh, and, and so uh, it's a long talk, and it is very, very, uh, very technical. And, and so I, I will not uh, go through all, all my Nobel lecture. Uh, the, the talk I have here is really the, the Nobel Lecture. But the Nobel Lecture is um, online at the nobel.org. You can find it and, and you can listen to it. And, and so I, I will just uh, tell you what the uh, study is about and, and then um, comment about the expression of getting, uh, the uh, impression of, of of getting the, the, the Nobel Prize. Um, um, so. um, all my career I've worked on DNA repair and uh, in particular on the repair of this DNA damage caused by um, ultraviolet light uh, called um, Let's try shaving here. Cyclobutane thymine dimer, and um, it, it is repaired by two mechanisms. Um, by two repair mechanism, uh, one is. Um, Photolyase um, shown on the left side, and the other one is uh, nucleate excision repair on shown on the right side. Um, I worked on photolyase for 40 years. Um, last week, uh, a, a Turkish lady from New Mexico brought her son to uh, an university visit to. North Carolina, and of course uh, they they came to, to talk to me, and um, and and so the 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 young boy asked me, uh, so what what do you work on? And I said we work on DNA repair, and we also work on the circadian clock. And he said, well, is that it? Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> and and so I said, look, well, okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what. So I, I showed him this slide. I, I said, look, it took me 40 years to generate this figure. So if, if, if you are uh, planning on going into science, it takes time. Uh, so so um, um, it's, it's taken 40 years to... Um, generate that figure and uh, about 35 years to generate this uh, figure. And the repair mechanisms are, are basically uh, uh, can be summarized uh, by saying that the 
photolysis, blue light energy to create, uh, uh, reverse these two carbon-carbon bonds that are uh, introduced by ultraviolet light. The enzyme uses blue light as energy source to break these abnormal bonds and reverse DNA to, to normal structure. That's all it does. And it's very unique enzyme, the only enzyme that uses light energy. And, it, and it's, it's very, uh, from that standpoint, uh, in, uh, scientifically, intellectually, it's very interesting. Uh, the nucleate excision repair enzyme, um, instead of cutting these two bonds to repair damage, it actually uh, cuts a fragment of the DNA that, that contains these two uh, damaged nucleotides and releases the damaged uh, um, part of the, of the DNA in E. coli in 12 to 13 nucleotide long fragment, and in humans, uh, 26 to 27 nucleotide long fragments, and those are shown here. Um, some of you may be familiar with, with this figure. It is on a patata stamp now. And um, so, um, um, finally, the um, uh, third topic of um, my research has been um, the, this, this enzyme um, photolysis is, is very important for survival of many species uh, ranging from E. coli to, to rattlesnakes, uh, and, but humans don't have it. And so humans rely only on nuclear excision repair for, for repairing DNA damage. And uh, in um, 1993, we, uh, its absence in humans was, was controversial. In 1993, we had uh, perfected the assays for the Photolyzed enzymes, and, and so we decided to put this question to rest by uh, performing very sensitive assays for photolyzed activity in humans. And we published papers saying that humans do not have photolyzed, um, and that was published in 1993 in, in PNAS. Two years later, the Human Genome Science Project at the first release of EST sequences, and in one of those there was an entry, photolysis homologue in humans, and, and so we thought, well, perhaps we made a mistake. Um, let's try to find out what, what, uh, what this gene does in humans, and we um, start working on it. Uh, while we were working on that, uh, of course, the EST were small uh, fragments of, of cDNAs, uh, we are, uh, got the entire cDNA, and then while we're characterizing that, we found the second one, and uh, very similar, uh, nearly 80% sequence identity, and this had 40% sequence identity to the E. coli repair enzyme. And so we test them for repair activity. They did not have repair activity, so... Uh, it, it is a long story to tell, and I can tell it later to those who are interested. A trip to Turkey, and on my way back reading the flight magazine, led to the discovery that this human protein actually is not involved in repair, but it, it is one of the key proteins that regulates the circadian rhythm in humans. And how I got from that point to that is, is a long story, so I, I won't try to tell it. Um, so um, um, the, the, the rest of, of the slides here are, are, um, are really uh, very technical, and I, I don't have time to, to, uh, to go through them. I just want to give my uh, professor, uh, Stan Rupert, credit. Uh, I uh, start working on, um, for he's the person who invented the field of DNA repair. And because he discovered photolysis, and until then, there was no notion of DNA repair. 
and his discovery fertilized opened the entire field. And I was fortunate, and also I think not just fortunate, uh, determined enough to know that this was an exciting field, and I found him in Texas and worked in his lab on, on photolysis. And uh, so th this picture was uh, taken at uh, his 19th birthday, and uh, on February 24th, I went to Texas to celebrate his 97th birthday. Uh, so he's been my, my, my role model and, and mentor. Uh, I think um, I will not go through the the detail of, of, of the uh, uh, rest of the slide, how we clone photolyze, how we purified it and characterized it. it. It's been, like I said, it took 40 years to generate that, that figure. Um, uh, yeah, getting Nobel is, is a unique experience, and, and so I, I want to, to say uh, a few words about my, my experience of, of getting the Nobel. Um, um, I think f the first question that, that I was asked uh, uh, by, by many people who uh, were interested in, in the subject was, um, um, well, were you expecting it? Were you expecting to, to get the Nobel Prize? And um, 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 many colleagues would say, no, it was a great surprise, and I'm honored, etc. And I, I, I won't say that. Um, I, I won't show false modesty by, by saying that um, I was expecting it. The, the way, the, the, whether you expect Nobel or, or not, it depends on if it's given in certain field. And that was my, my view. If it's given in the DNA repair field, in my mind, I had no doubt that I would get it. But there are many exciting fields. You, you heard them here in, 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 uh, um, uh, in biomedicine, in chemistry. The award was in chemistry. And most of the uh, selection members, actually, were physical chemists uh, who probably had never heard my name before the the deliberations. So there are ma many exciting fields to, to choose from. Whether your field is chosen for, for Nobel uh, is, is a separate issue. But when I was asked if I, I, do you expect to get the Nobel Prize, that was my answer. If it's given my field, um, I, I think I will get it. Um, um, and uh, Secondly, what, what was my reaction when I first got it? Uh, um, so they called at 5 a.m. and I was sleeping and my wife woke me up, etc. I was incoherent actually in talking to him. And, and, and so, but uh, then they told me, um, we were telling you, got the Nobel Prize, and, and we'll have the, uh, the news conference in 30 minutes, so there will be some commotion, uh, so be ready. Uh, but for 30 minutes, you're not supposed to tell anyone. So, uh, so I really, because of that, I just didn't think about the big implications of getting Nobel or anything. I was just hurrying to shave and shower and go, go to the lab and, <laughs> and, 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 and face the, uh, the, both the international and, and Turkish media. So I really didn't have time to, to, to think about it. Um, um, but the, um, then, of course, uh, after 30 minutes, it was on, on, on the news, um, both here and uh, throughout the world, and, and uh, there, there were uh, all kinds of reactions. Um, um, then oh, we go to Sweden to, to get the, the Nobel Prize. Uh, and my, my experience there in, in Sweden, um, of course, for for most people, the and uh, I, I saw it on the cover of, of TASA, 
the big thing is you get the uh, Nobel Medal from the king. But for, for scientists, it's really not that. It is when you give the Nobel lecture to the people who elected you to make sure that they did the right thing, okay? <laughs> and and, and, and I, I was really terrified. And, and, uh, and on, on top of that, not just those, um, uh, um, Fahrettin Kjallistimur and, and other uh, uh, Turkish uh, uh, scientist colleagues were very, uh, uh, they honored me by, by coming to, to listen to me. And here I have the Turkish delegation sitting in the front row. And what on the Sharum Mahjipedi, Jimmy? So, uh, so, 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 uh, I, I was really terrified. So, to, to tell you the truth, and uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous now. But uh, Allah already made it. I was very relaxed, and when I, when I watched, when I watched my, my lecture later on, you, you may find it a little nervous. But I really, it, it was not like my, uh, my seminar. So, I was so relaxed, I was very, it was, uh, I'm not a good lecturer, but it was the best lecture of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and for me, that, that was the Nobel. Now, the, the Nobel thing is, is, is called Nobel Week. For a whole week, there are banquets, there are celebrations, there, there is this lecture, and then two days after this lecture, the, the Nobel ceremony. But I, I was so exhaust, exhausted from all, all these activities. Actually, in, in the Nobel ceremony, uh, there is a picture of us. They, they took picture wherever we went. We're, we're in the waiting room, uh, waiting for the uh, royal family to come to the scene, and then the uh, uh, Glorious will join them, and um, the night before, um, my my wife got sick on top of all this, and and because she was sick, neither she nor I slept that night, and, and so I was exhausted, and so they have a picture of us waiting in the in the waiting room, and and I was sound sleep, and uh, <laughs> so so that. Was, uh, it was good to, to get the Nobel Prize, and, and if you see the picture of me and, and that thing, I look very grim and, and angry. I said, uh, it wasn't anger on everyone. I was just exhausted. I, I, I was really afraid that I would fall on my face and again embarrass my, my Turkish friends. So, uh, so that was the, uh, the, the Nobel experience. Uh, how, how has the uh, life been after the Nobel? Um, the, um, um, the, there, there, are, there have been two kinds of reactions. And, and one is um, the, the day I got the Nobel, so I, I shared and showered and, and ran into my lab. And uh, so on, um, I, I walked. I uh, lived close to the uh, close to the lab, and and so I was walking uh, around uh, six o'clock or so, and 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 this young lady is on, on her bicycle passed me, and uh, we were at stop sign, and uh, she looked at me, she said, "Good job, Doctor Sanjay," <laughs> 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 and. Uh, so, so for for Americans, you know, Nobels come and go every every year. You, you, you get five and ten or whatever. Uh, it, it it it's fine. It's a, it's another day in American life, and 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 so, uh, so so that that was the, the reaction, and it's it's a good memory. The the other good memory I have from from the after Nobel. So I got um, many. Uh, 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 recognition from uh, various organizations, but the one I really liked the most was the one that was given by uh, the 
Turkish Swedish Workers Union. They said, güzel çalıştın, güzel neticeler aldın, Nobel aldın, tebrik ederiz. And, and I think I, I really liked it because they valued the, the importance of work and working honestly and working hard. And, and that's why that, that's, it's, uh, that's the only thing I, I have on, on, in, in my office because I, I really value it. Um, but um, uh, so these were the small, you know, very, very personal reaction, but Beyond that, the reaction from Turkey has been overwhelming. Uh, uh, I think I said it in, in, in Turkey and in, in, in a t TV interview, Boyacısından uh, Başbakan'a kadar telefonlar, textlar, emailler. And it, it's been overwhelming, and, and I, I've been very gratified. I, I, I really didn't expect that. I, I thought I would get uh, compliments from my colleagues, from scientists and, and uh, the academia, but the, the reaction from, the, uh, from Turkey has been extraordinary and, and very humbling. Uh, but the, the other thing that, that um, really surprised me, and I, I, I've Grown and I'm sure it's, it's been written in, in uh, uh, the news media and talked about. Ben çok milliyetçi adamım. Doğrusu bu. Memleketimi severim. Bunu en çok biliyorum. Herkes sever ama. So, so, um, so th it was normal for me to, to get this reaction from Turkey and, and I appreciate but what really surprised me was um, uh, Kosovo'dan Kırgızistan'a kadar, bütün Türk dünyasından phone calls, text, uh, invitation by President of Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, from uh, all the high officials in, in, in uh, in Bosnia and Kosovo, so that that was really for for me who who takes uh, our our Turkishness seriously. I, it was it was overwhelming and and and, and, and uh, one of the best experiences in in, in, uh, in getting this award. Um, um, The uh, one negative as aspect of, of the Nobel has been, uh, again, in the social context, um, uh, when, when you get the Nobel, then people ask you about everything. And, uh, you know, what, what do you do about the po political uh, impasse in Turkey? Well, what can I do about political impasse in Turkey? <laughs> <laughs> so, my Kardashian. I, I mean, <laughs> So, um, yeah, that, and I'm trying to, to deal the best I can, and sometimes get twisted, et cetera. I'm trying to just keep away from politics, and, and it's really hard, and everybody tries to, to pull it back. So, but that, that's part of the, of the, of the job. Um, uh, how, how has it affected um, my, my research? And, so it, it so happened. The day I gave my Nobel lecture, we submitted a paper to uh, a good journal. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> I, and we thought, you know, with Nobel we'll get uh, a little break. Uh, and, uh, so that was uh, December 8th, and on January 19th, I get I, uh, uh, an eight-page critique by four reviewers. 
that the Sunday you rejected them. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, uh, funding from NIH. Uh, I, just before that, I, I submit the grant. I think, uh, fortunately, we're at the at, at the good point with regard to funding. Uh, you you all know how it goes in science. We we make an important discovery, uh, whether it's uh, conceptual or technical, and we we go on trajectory for a while. Then we reach a plateau, and and things are sort of slow, and and then hopefully we make another one. We and, and we had just made such such a, 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 a technical uh, breakthrough, and that would keep us going for for five years. And and so, because of that, uh, I think um, the the NIH funding that the grant that was submitted during that period uh, uh, got funded on on its own merit. Had nothing to do with with. Uh, with the Nobel, I don't know e even if the reviewers mentioned any Nobel in the, um, uh, in their critique. Um, and of course, um, I've gotten offers from um, various uh, uh, Turkish um, uh, um, departments of, of the government, uh, including um, Professor uh, Kelaş Timur for um, uh, facilitating my research both both in, in the United States and, and Turkey and and so I I, I think in that regard it, it, it has helped um, finally I, I uh, <coughs> want to say a few things about uh, for, for, for young people about uh, uh, research and, and novel and um, um, I remember many years ago, uh, a Turkish girl applied for uh, for graduate school in, in my department, and uh, she said, I will work hard and I will get the Nobel Prize. And you don't do that. We, we, we don't do research to get the Nobel Prize. I mean, if, if you want to say something lies, say, I want more for humanity, say, humankind and what have you, or if you want to be honest, I'm curious, I want to discover things, okay? And in my case, that, that's what it was. I wanted to discover things, and that, that was part of it. And I think the other part, like I, I, maybe, maybe I say it too often, I love my country. I want my country to be competitive in the world in science. That, that, that's been another. So, so, uh, it, so if you say those are, 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 are fine, but, but don't say I, I'm, I'm going to research to get the Nobel Prize. I don't think it's a good idea, and, and get the Nobel, like I said, it involves many factors. You, you can be an outstanding scientist, and, uh, but if the Nobel, uh, uh, this um, uh, Swedish Royal Commi uh, Committee has not decided that that topic deserves a Nobel, you're not going to get it. So uh, there are many factors that goes into it. And, and um, we have many stars. I'm, I'm very proud of, of them, Turkish uh, intellectual stars, uh, scientific stars. So some of them talked here, and I'm very proud of, of them. And I hope they get the Nobel Prize. But please, the media and, and, and their colleagues, don't put pressure on them. Don't say, Gökhan, nobody ne zaman alacaksın oğlum, söylemeyin ya. I think it happened with me and Orhan Bursalov. You, you know, he's been publishing Bilim and technology of in Jim Horiat for for many years, and we we become friends since 1994. And every time I, I visit him, he, in, in, in next day in, in Jim Horiat, uh, Aziz Nabaljak, and so <laughs> so in, in la, last year in September, Gurkhanin and I were on the scientific advisory board of. Uh, um, uh, um, 
Biomedicine and, and Genome Center in, in Izmir, and uh, uh, Bursala was there, and he says, Aziz, I haven't heard anything from you. What's going on? <laughs> And I, I, I said, Orhan, I think we have a, a, a very good uh, new data, but I decided not to tell you about it because every time I tell you we, we've done something good, you, you, you write as it's going to get the Nobel. <laughs> I'm really tired of it. And, and, and so, uh, and that was September 9-10, and, and of course I, I got it uh, on October 7th, and and actually, I broke the rule. I, I called Orhan be, before the, uh, uh, the Nobel Committee uh, deadline. <laughs> uh, so um, so th these are really my, my, my experiences and, and, and comments. And, and, and to, to, to the young generation, uh, all, all I have to say, work hard. Don't get involved in, in uh, uh, unfortunately, our, our country. It, it's it's in a political deadlock, and, and just don't get into the best way we can serve is by doing what you're doing the best, and that that's doing science, and 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 that's the ba uh, the best way to, to help our country. Um, Joe Salon Varolin. How many times you get a chance to kiss a Nobel Prize winner, right? <laughs> I, will, I will not miss that opportunity. Azroja, you know, uh, thank you so much. This was, this was really, you know, a big treat for all of us. And we now know better. We're in the presence of a very special person. And uh, it's a really humbling experience, you know. We're proud of you, but, I mean, you make us all humble. Well, as TASA, uh, we wanted to give us a present, an award. I said, come on. <laughs> 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 what could possibly give him, you know? So uh, then we contacted Mrs. Sanjar. I said, I mean, what does Azoja like? You know, we want to give him a memorabilia and some present and so on. And she said, no. Stop it, you know, <laughs> don't go there. Our house is full of memorabilia, plaques, gifts. We don't have a place to put anymore, okay? So I really want to see the, the, the scenery, <laughs> you know. So what we decided to do is uh, to start a, uh, a TASA Award, Young Scholar Award, after Azoja. So we will... For <laughs> So starting next year, TASA will give one uh, award under TASA Aziz Sanjar Young Scholar Award. So that will, that will you know, honor him as long as TASA exists. Okay.